Hi, welcome to Car TV. I'm Neil Schneider. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pasta dough and then we're going to roll it out and I'm going to show you how to do a couple basic noodles. All right, so today what I've got is I've got 400 grams of flour here, and I've already mixed in about a teaspoon of salt. I've separated one egg yolk, and I've put in a tablespoon of uh, extra virgin olive oil, and then I have four eggs here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our tabletop today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour our flour right onto the counter, and then we're gonna form it into a well. So we're just gonna make a nice, almost like a volcano shape here. And we want to make sure that all the sides have a nice, even wall. So now that we've got it all positioned like that, we're just going to go ahead and crack our eggs. Okay, making sure that we're not putting any eggshells in there. You'll tend to get a really dark yolk if they're free range or organic. And then what we're going to do, is we're just going to use our fingers very gently here and we're going to break up the egg and we're just gonna slowly work the inside here. And as we're doing that, it's gonna pull flour into the center and it's gonna start to form the dough. Again, with this method, with this way we're doing it, slow and steady wins the race, and making sure that we're not dumping any onto the counter or letting it exit the well. We get to a point where the eggs themselves wanna to start to escape out the sides, but you really just Work your hands as you're going, making sure that you catch everything that's coming out. It'll eventually get to a point where it's nice and thick and you can kind of just do what I'm doing here and just flop the flour right in. All right, so now that you've almost got it into a paste, you can get both your hands working. You're just gonna kind of fold and fold. And then this is gonna start the kneading process. Essentially with the kneading process, you're just pushing the flour into itself, creating that really strong gluten development. It's gonna look very flaky to start, but you'll see it will just start to build together. And with kneading, you wanna make sure you're folding and pushing, right? You're gonna fold and push into it. You're just gonna continue this process till the dough is nice and smooth, all the flour is absorbed, and we're almost there. A little bit longer. All right, so now once we've absorbed all that flour, we're nearing the end of our kneading process. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to shape the pasta into a nice ball, folding in all the bottoms, almost like a loaf of bread. Your pasta dough should be nice and elastic at this point. You've really worked those gluten strands. Now it's ready for the resting phase. So we're just gonna wrap this in saran wrap and we're gonna throw it in the fridge overnight. All right, so we've let our pasta dough rest overnight. And as you can feel, it's really just relaxed. It's a lot more malleable. And what I also have today is I have a rolling pin, a little bit of flour for dusting, my pastry knife, and then I've also set up a pasta roller. If you don't have a pasta roller, it's totally fine. You can use things like the rolling pin. So we're gonna unwrap our rested pasta dough. And you can really feel how important it is to rest the dough. It's so much more relaxed. You can move it around with your hands. This is really, really key to rolling a good pasta dough. So usually what I'll do is I'll just dust the table here. And we're just gonna cut it into two. This will make uh, shaping the pasta much easier, especially when you're putting it through a machine and rolling it through. And then what I like to do is I just kind of shape it into a little bit of a rectangle with my hands. And this will allow it to pass through the machine a lot easier. Give my rolling pin a little bit of a dusting as well. And then we just roll it forward. Now at this point, we just wanna kinda of keep it a skinny rectangle. It doesn't need to be perfect, especially if we're doing rustic noodles like Pappardelle. But we wanna make sure that it's gonna pass through the machine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this machine here and we're gonna put it on the widest setting. Usually these machines go to seven or eight or, you know, they're all different. And we're just gonna pass it through. And 
as it's rolling, we're gonna pull with our left hand. We're gonna fold it in half, then we're gonna go through again. And as we're doing this, we're kind of redeveloping that gluten a little bit, tensing it back up. Okay. Then once we get to this stage, we're just gonna kind of take it down one notch at a time. Now, sometimes in industrial kitchens, what they'll do is they'll go down two notches at a time because these are actually quite strong machines. It can actually pass through pretty easy. But today I'm just gonna go one at a time here just to kind of show you guys. Now for a Pappardelle noodle, they tend to be a little bit thicker. So for me, this is pretty good. You can see my hand going right through it. Now for Pappardelle, we can kind of gauge, okay, so we want our noodles maybe about yay big. We'll just cut right there. Then what we'll do is we'll just kind of fold our pasta in half and then in half again. Okay, if you really are cautious about how you want every noodle to look, you can trim the sides. And then what we're gonna do for a pappardelle, probably about yay big here. And then what we're gonna do lastly just toss it a nice amount of flour, making sure to separate each noodle as well. We don't want anything kind of sticking together, especially if we're storing them in the freezer. Okay, so now that you've dusted all of the noodles and you're ready to store them, you can either weigh them, usually about a portion is about five ounces, six ounces. You can have them in portion cups or any kind of uh, Tupperware that you have at home. So we're just gonna kind of portion each each uh, noodle here. Okay, so now that you've kind of portioned them, you can toss them in the freezer, and then these will be ready to go right into the boiling uh, pasta water, and uh, yeah, ready to serve. Thanks for tuning in to CAR TV. I'm Neil Schneider, and this is covering the basics of pasta dough.